A woman who has recently given birth or who is nursing is in the same category. Uh, there are post who are very lenient and say that women who are who have just given birth up to even up to 24 months if they are nursing don't have to fast. Other post feel that uh, a shorter time that the exclusion from uh, from fasting is uh, much shorter and again it depends very much on the good health of the mother involved certainly if the mother feels that by fasting her nursing will be affected that the baby will not receive the nourishment it needs then clearly that mother is allowed to eat and to drink if however the mother is healthy and feels quite confident then surely she could try to fast and if something happens if she doesn't feel well she can eat eat at that time again as I said there's no reason for her to plan there's no reason for her to plan on on not fasting if in fact uh, if in fact she can she can fast uh, a sick person doesn't have to fast on these fasts even if it's the kind of sickness that we call embo sakana like a kind of sickness that will probably not lead to anything worse right the the, the uh, sickness any sort of sickness uh, is excused from fasting and those even say that if your eyes bother you and if, uh, if, if it's really annoying, it's annoying that you get a headache or your eyes bother you, and uh, if you're weak or if you're old, uh, that uh, fasting causes distress of one kind or another, then you probably don't have to, uh, um, you don't have to fast. Certainly if the doctor comes and says, look, fasting is really not good for you, and it's going to upset your uh, some equilibrium or other. You'll be weak. Who knows what will happen? Then you don't have to uh, fast. Patur mi ta'anit. You have to remember that this ta'anit is a rabbinic in, uh, enactment, right? And if there is a doubt, I mean, some doubts, so you have to ask a shiloh. You have to ask a shiloh. But generally speaking, a person who is ill, a person who is weak, a person who finds it difficult to get around, a person who is old, all of these people should not endanger themselves. That was the serious position of the halakha, should not endanger themselves by um, by fasting. I mean, fasting could be good for you sometimes, but could also be disastrous sometimes. And the chachamim certainly didn't want you to endanger your health by fasting on these days. As the Rambam says, what the Chachamim wanted was for these days to be days of reflection, introspection, uh, 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 working on me dot, on, on my, my, my qualities as a human being. Certainly not uh, a day where I make myself a little sicker than I used to be, so I have to spend all my time thinking about whether I can pop some Advils or not. That's not what this day is about. So for some people, eating is the enabler. I mean, it's still Shibos HaBatamos. It's still Tish Abba Abba. I mean, just because you ate doesn't mean that the day has changed. And the concern that we have on that day for our achievement and for our difficulties remains exactly the same. So beware. The Chachamim did not want you to fast if fasting would become your central concern on that day. Chachamim wanted you to fast so that you could think about other things more seriously, without any kind of, uh, without any kind of uh, change of mind. So people who don't feel they should could fast are probably excused from fasting on that day.